This is an exclusive from DriveRavia.com. We're sitting here with Mark James Cass, who's the managing director, who's, uh, I believe, who stepped into the shoes of uh, uh, taking care of Honda's business end of things. And uh, you're new to the region, I presume, or, or in fact, you were all these years based off Saudi. Yes, um, thank you. Um, I've been in Saudi Arabia previously for five years, um, where I was the executive vice president for Nissan. Um, reported to the family shareholders. Um, and I was asked to come here by Len Hunt, uh, formerly the CEO of Kia North America, to run the Honda businesses because they wanted to break it away from the management of TE and have a, a separate business entity run by a new managing director. So thankfully in October I took up this position. So where do you make us a region? I mean, it is uh, quite a so say fish market here with all sorts of brands existing and tough competition. And uh, given the whole current climate, uh, do you see your uh, situation more favorable or are you the, the appropriate man for the job and you're going to carry this brand through and through? Well, that's a good question. I think, firstly, 85% of our products are yen-based. So we're relying very much on currency and the yen, unfortunately, has been particularly strong. Um, against the US dollar. Um, it's appreciated dramatically over the last year, which fundamentally has put prices up. But no, I am the right man for the job. Um, we've got a good business model here. We've got 10 showrooms and 10 service centers. Um, we represent Honda throughout the whole of the UAE, and we're going to grow the business um, in 2010, both in terms of our people and our premises. And we've got some exciting new products to back that as well. The GCC, I think in particular, outside of Japan, is a very, very strong um, area of sales uh, for the parent company of Honda and uh, do you see Dubai in particular as a very difficult setting to, I mean I, I think it's more of a cutthroat environment out here, I mean you have other leading uh, uh, Japanese brands and that fall under the trading enterprises umbrella itself um, such as Toyota, but here we are speaking about Honda and uh, where do you see yourself in uh, fourth quarter of 2010? Well, I think that's a good question. I think the first quarter will be difficult. Um, I think liquidity in the market will be tight, um, particularly in bank lending to um, private consumers. But we've got a, a whole wealth of new products for the second and the third quarter. Um, and our market focus next year actually isn't on Dubai. Our focus is on um, driving Abu Dhabi, where we believe there is continued investment and a lot of our investment into property and people will go into Abu Dhabi for 2010 and 11. Speaking about the newer models uh, that are being showcased here today, the more promising ones being the Sporty Type R, which is a fan favorite. Uh, I mean, all the Honda fanboys have been looking forward for the release or the launch of this car. And the expected launch date, I think, uh, the way it isn't, too far away. What is the expected price uh, and uh, what sort of interest or buzz has the car been creating? I mean, it's, it stands alone, I mean, apart from the whole lineup of Hondas. This is uh, a thoroughbred. Well, that's a good point. I mean, the Civic Type R is the iconic car of the, um, the Honda range and uh, it's one whereby it has a limited market, but particularly in the UAE, we feel it will be strong and passionate, um, particularly with young Emiratis. Um, and perhaps the government workers that will very much um, want to drive that vehicle, certainly if they're commuting between Dubai and Abu Dhabi. Um, we expect the price to be somewhere between 110 and 115 AED, although we've not finally confirmed that with Honda yet. And the car will be built to GCC spec, so it'll be able to withstand the climate and conditions here. So does it come with the, the whole uh, Kiran Caboodle? We're talking navigation, GPS, something that we've seen similar to the American uh, lineup. No, it doesn't, unfortunately, but it doesn't throughout the GC, sorry, it's throughout the UK either and Europe. Um, the car is, is simply um, a cult car, it's iconic, it's to drive, it's an enthusiast car, it's a six-speed manual, and really the gizmos beyond the suspension, the seat and the engines um, is really that's something people don't pay too much attention to. Speaking about uh, sporting performance and... Uh, so I say keeping an eye on the speed limit. Uh, we've seen the launch of uh, Mugen. I was very excited to see representatives from Mugen here all these years playing video games and reading up on car magazines. Mugen has been uh, the tour de force when it comes to performance motorsports. Right now we have two gens running around and trying to sort of say uh, explain to us what they're bringing to Dubai. Um, can you shed some light on that and like uh, how big a move it is and considering uh, the current climate, people spending on after the market that exists with uh, high-end accessories. Well, I think that's a good question. We're not quite sure yet how successful it will be. Um, we're enthusiastic, and by looking at the Civic and the Accord tonight, 
um, you can see that um, it radically changes the design of both vehicles. Um, the kit price is yet to be confirmed, the full specification of the kit, so we actually can't comment on that. But what I will say is by February it will be on sale throughout the GCC in our showrooms, and every one of our showrooms will be equipped with at least an Accord and a Civic, and again the Type R. So we're talking about these three models, like right off the bat, uh, pre-kit in, uh, ready to drive off. Yeah, the kits will be um, transported here from Japan, and they'll be locally assembled um, here and painted. Um, but for all intents and purposes, if you order a car in week one by week two, you'll drive it away Mugen accessorized. Right, and we're talking purely uh, exterior aesthetics, or we're talking some sort of mod slight modifications towards the uh, engine or the exhaust or the gearbox? Well, look, we will offer the tune parts. Um, there is a full specification of tune parts. The question that we have here is whether the warranty will be valid um, by um, customizing the engine in terms of fine-tuning the BHP, equally changing the suspension, and that's something that yet to be decided. Now, we're at um, a difficult position if it does compromise the warranty because, of course, we need to ensure that the three-year warranty remains for the customer um, and therefore it's still, still really an open discussion. Speaking about the commercial lineup, we do see the Accord uh, cross through, which looks like a very, very, uh, um, I dare say pretty, but it is quite pleasant on the eyes and it gives a very well-rounded feel and look. Um, I think it, uh, the ground clearance is clearly there. And I, what sort of market do you see itself fitting in? Uh, is it like a crossover? Is it an SUV? Um, is it the successor to the already popular CRV? No, it's a very good question. It is a crossover in a true sense, but it will take and capture people from the SUV market. It will typically hit the Volvo buyer, possibly the BMW buyer. Um, it is unique. Um, it's an all four-wheel drive um, made in the U.S., and the other nice thing about it is that we're only the second country to preview this vehicle after the North America. So we're actually very privileged to have this vehicle on show tonight. Apart from that, uh, we have here the five-door Civic, uh, which is the hatchback version. It has a different styling and aesthetic, which is more, I say, European or uh, of uh, more European or American of tasting. I mean, it's more ergonomic. It's got the whole wedge look. It looks very Japanese, uh, sharp, like a, how should I say, a cyborg ninja. Look, I think you're absolutely right, but again, it has appeal because it's unique and it's different. Um, I think that's limited. Um, I don't think it will sell in huge numbers, and I think one of the reasons for that is price. It will be a premium priced product. We haven't got the final prices yet, but it will be premium priced, and premium therefore meaning any excess of 90 DHS or AED. But um, it is unique because it's a 1.8 engine, it's 140 PS, and it's full specification. So the only model that will come to the GCC is the full specification, which we're privileged to offer. So the full specification uh, entails uh, more gizmos, more gadgets. Uh, what all would it have to offer than the commercial one? Well, obviously it will have leather interior. It will have uh, different seats. It will have lumbar support. It will have um, sports headrests, active airbags, side airbags, a different radio cassette player, um, a CD upgrade. Yeah, it most definitely will enhance the, um, the interior of that vehicle. Speaking about the cross rotor, how is it different in terms of chassis, transmission, engine? No, it's a good question. It is a, it is a, a proper four-wheel drive in the true sense. Um, it's got a very large interior. It's got a dynamic boot. It's got incredibly, um, in incredibly roomy, um, sorry, rear space for the passengers. It has a very ergonomic dashboard. And yes, it is very different. And also, um, we've introduced a little bit of wood into the car that aesthetically looks just a little bit different on the eye, and we believe it will be um, very well received here. Is there some sort of outlook from your end personally that you're hoping for, given your experience from the UK, Saudi, and something that you find so unique about this market that has to be purely experimental? Well, I think that's right. I think customer experience here is everything. And once upon a time, shabby service would have been accepted particularly when cars were, you know, <laughs> being given away, um, but not today. Um, the customer experience is different. They want top-class service from a top-class company, and our investment next year will most definitely be in both our people and our facilities, which will in turn deliver state-of-the-art expectations to our customers.